Okay, welcome to another episode of A Brew with Goose. We're down here on the Gold Coast with uh, one of the big lions. He's a big cat. Daniel oh, Barron. okay, yep. Hey mate, how are you? I'm well mate, where are we? Mate, we're at the BMD, which is one of our club sponsors, Northcliffe Surf Club. It's been a bit of time down here at my youth. I was talking to Andrew Range just before about his uh, schoolies hotel just there. <laughs> just run me through. Just saying back, Coxie. <laughs> Running me through. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Glad we got Ratesy on there as well. It's good. Run, running through a few of these uh, schoolies episodes. Any uh, any stories for the supporters out there about your schoolies days, Rog? You would have been uh, pretty quiet, I would have thought. Yeah, no, nah, pretty quiet, mate. Um, nothing really to talk of. Okay. But... How things have changed now, <laughs> Dan Mer. <laughs> and mate, you've also been doing a little bit of DJing uh, down at. Shady Palms. Um, a couple of the boys get down there and watch you. Um, mate, do you reckon you might be able to get a get a gig, you know, on a Friday night somewhere, or yeah, like, is this going to go somewhere post footy? Uh, or what I do you think? I don't know gig? if you'd call it DJ. And I, I sit there and press press play on, on my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. It's a bit of fun. I get down to Shady Palms on a Thursday night and um, spin a few tunes. Uh, yeah, I don't know. In the future. I, I like being in control of the music because I, I think uh, music can definitely um, make or break a night or make or break a, the atmosphere or a situation. So or a so moment. Like, or a moment, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a few people may have seen you cruising around Brisbane. You do have uh, a bit of a love for uh, vintage cars. Um, haven't seen much of your Red Baron of late. Now, can we just get a bit of an update on? Uh, oh, on... It, uh, yeah, I love it. But yeah, it's been off the road for about uh, a month and a half now. The generator blew up. Um, so trying to find a generator from 1960 is probably not the most easiest thing to do. So it's 53, had its first heart attack. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I've had a bit of trouble finding that. But I've got it in from the States and uh, Got the confirmation last night that it's that arrived in Australia, so I should get in a few days. End of season's coming up. Um, get a few weeks off. What's on the agenda, mate? Are you a coastal guy? Do you like to get to a beach, an yeah. island, or you know, into the mountains? Well, a bit of a mountain man, eh? Oh, but I look like a mountain man, but <laughs> I don't do too much wood chopping. Um, I now this year, I think straight after the B and I'm going to head down to the coast. Byron Way and, and going for a bit of a surf trip for um, a few days. Um, actually looking and get, getting a new board. Oh, you're getting um, a new whip, are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this year I'm going to go to the grand final. I haven't been since 2004, um, since last time we were in the final, so I'm going to go down there. Um, it was actually uh, 10 years ago that I met my wife down there. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. there oh, you go. Oh, that a nice 10 year anniversary. Mate, yeah, you is that what it is? Uh, <laughs> Thanks for joining me, Rog. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, mate. Another week on a brew with goose.